Good morning. It is now time for another life lesson from God's Word. This morning we're going to finish our discussion in James chapter 4 and verse 17. Let us read this together. Therefore to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him what is sin. In the context, when you read this verse, there are people uh, who are making plans without regard to the temporariness of life or the eternity of God. Uh, they're not considering God in their plans and they are boasting they're going to do something without being humble, knowing death is at the door. When we start thinking about sin, it is easy for us to call the things that are wrong sin, like lying, cheating, stealing, killing, using the Lord's name in vain, putting other things before our most holy God. We, we could say those things are sinful and we understand that. But the opposite is also true. When we know to do good and don't do it, it is still sin. So it's not just not doing the wrong things, but it's doing the right things. Being loving, being merciful, being kind, showing compassion. See, that is ever much as a command in how we should live, as the other is a command how we should not live. And so as we live our lives today, let us give attention to being the person that God wants us to be. Let God's love and compassion flow through us as we meet other people today. Help us to invite people to learn more about God's word. Help us to spread the good news uh, to those around us. And not be fearful what they may say, but to talk to them. Truly pour our hearts out to them uh, about God's saving grace. This morning, let us go to our Heavenly Father. Father, we are grateful for this day and we are mournful of our sins. Father, there are things that are sinful that we engage in and we pray Lord to forgive us. That we will forgive us of the wrongs that we have committed and help us to overcome these, these areas in our lives that keep us from being who you desire for us to be. Father, you've blessed us with many opportunities, many opportunities to do good and to share your word. We pray Lord that we may not let these opportunities pass, but that we may take hold of them uh, so that we may be able to teach others uh, of your loving kindness and help them to be edified and built up and ready for the life after this life is over. Father, we pray in all things we may bring you honor and glory. So our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We truly hope that we've been a blessing this morning. If we can help you in any way with your walk with the Lord, please let us know. Feel free to contact us. We'd be glad to hear from you. Come again tomorrow for another life lesson from God's Word.